I'm very honored and very humbled actually to take on this position. I've waited 10 years and worked tirelessly and worked very hard with all my heart. And now finally, I'm joining them as national ambassador. But such an honor. But of course, with that comes huge responsibility, which I accept with all my heart to ensure that every child through the corners of India, however vulnerable, wherever he is, whoever she is, and I must include by when I say every single child, I do not specify gender, I do not want to, voice or no voice, abled or disabled, I specify every single child I will work towards to give them their fundamental right. Every child deserves a fair chance to life. The first five years of their life being their foundation. Every child deserves a childhood. The first five years, once again I repeat, being the most important and formative years. They deserve a right, a right to safety, a right to gender equality, a right to education, primary education, safe environments, health and nutrition. They basically deserve a fair chance at life itself. And there are two things that I feel are the most important thing as being a mother now that I realize that whenever I see Tim and Jay, there are two things that I always have in my mind which I want for every possible child. And I know that working, I'm confident working with UNICEF India and of course the government and its partners together, we're going to work tirelessly and make the effort for two things, of course, like I said, health, nutrition, everything. We're going to spread the word about breastfeeding, how important that is. But there are two things that always, you know, kind of I ring a bell when because now I'm a mother. Um, of course, this role is most important, but the most important role I play in my life is being a mother to my two boys. And um, I always feel that children need a voice. They like to be heard, whatever it is, whichever environment they're in, whether it's talking to their parents, talking to their peers, talking to their teachers, they want to be heard. They want to feel like someone's listening to whatever they're saying, you know, at whatever age, babbling, babbling, saying, being opinionated, you know, however, but they just want to be heard. And that is something that I make a conscious effort of with my children is if they have a voice, we must, must hear them clearly. And secondly, Nurturing their confidence, because confidence gives them ability to dream, ability to fly, ability to have ideas, to innovate, which they need, because children are, they are the future, they are the future of our nation. So to have that, we must build their confidence. So that is also a fundamental right, which we have to do. And by that, I mean engaging them in sport, drama, painting, arts, reading, things like that which we plan to do. And that's what I really want. These two things are, I think, the most important thing in the, in the formative years of a child, which I'm quite sure we're going to do in the coming years, you know, that we're being associated together. And, of course, I would like to say that it's been an absolutely tremendous journey, a decade together with UNICEF India. I've been very lucky for some wonderful memories, a few of which you guys sure saw and the video which they made, which was so nice. Thank you so much. Um, through them, I actually got to visit, you know, so many schools. I spoke to children, parents, teachers. They spoke about, you know, their dreams, what they want to be, you know, and what they want to do with their life. And some who didn't have a voice, you were actually sharing with me and I was understanding beautifully and I saw them all engaging together, which was the beauty of it. And, you know, I, hearing them was, I mean, you know, it's just absolutely brilliant to see. And I would, you know, like to thank UNICEF India for giving me those moments. I'm forever grateful for that, that I had that time and I want to have more such memories where we can spread, you know, whatever I just said. So thank you, thank you for this honor. And it's such a responsibility and I'm so excited about it. And um, I can't wait for more exciting and 
you know, engaging conversations that are never going to stop, hopefully. So help me, everyone, and support us and UNICEF India and all its partners in giving all those beautiful children, wherever they are, wings to fly. Well, first, I would say UNICEF India is so excited that Karina Kapoor Khan is our India national ambassador. Um, and she's been working as, with us for 10 years. So we're excited about this new big role that she has. And third, I would say that we are extremely excited about using her voice and leveraging her voice and presence to advocate for children's rights. Uh, I would like to know, can you just outline about the last 25 years of UNICEF's partnership with India and what will be UNICEF's future you know, priorities? So one is that UNICEF is just very proud to have been working in India, with India, with the government of India, with the people of India for 75 years. It's one of our biggest and most important programs. And I think the most important is that UNICEF is looking at this as an opportunity to really build on the momentum that we've accomplished. So UNICEF India has worked together with the government, with the private sector, with communities to achieve things like reducing under five child mortality. It's gone down around the world, including in India, to achieve gender parity in school. And so we want to build on that momentum and support the government, support communities support parents themselves and children themselves in accomplishing more over the next 75 years subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon